In today's video, we're going to create this responsive registration form. Let's get into it. Just create a new folder. Create index.html with the boilerplate style.css and also I have the background image that you can find the link in the description and also we're going to use box icons click on usage scroll down a little bit and copy and paste this right under title let's also change that title to registration form and also link that style sheet let's quickly reset the margin padding set the font to poppins and box sizing border box and also you need this extension called live server to be able to right click and open the html in the web page and we are good to go let's start with the html let's create a wrapper and a form and we're gonna put an h1 at the top registration we're gonna create another div with input box and inside we're gonna create another div input field and let's put an input there with the placeholder of full name and required and right under there we're gonna put the box icons but we're gonna do that when we finished so let's copy this we're gonna paste that a couple of times like second third fourth fifth and sixth and now let's change those so this one is going to be username this one is going to be email this one is number let's say phone number and password This one is also going to be password, but confirm password. Yeah, let's also add the checkbox real quick. Label input checkbox. I'm gonna say send me emails about the news. I don't think anybody is gonna check that box, but for the sake of reality, I mean say submit and register I forgot the class BTN yeah we are pretty much done and it looks like this now it's the fun part let's style it so let's start with the body I'm gonna say display flex justify content center align item center minimum height 100 VH and let's quickly set that background image say no repeat background size cover background position center yeah it looks fine and let's also style that wrapper with 750 pixels background color I'm gonna copy paste the color so if you want to type the same you can pause the video just backdrop filter let's give it a little bit of blur as well border one pixel solid let me copy and paste that again box shadow zero zero ten and this color Let's also give it a border radius of 10 pixels, color white, padding 40 pixel, 35 and 55, and margin 0, 150. Yeah, it's coming together. And let's keep going with the uh, H1. Say dot wrapper H1. Let's say font size 36 and text align center margin bottom 20 pixels and what else are oh, the input box let's 
let's say display flex justify content space between and flex wrap wrap and the input field also say input box input field position relative with 50% height 50 pixels and margin 13 pixel to 0 yeah it looks okay and let's style those inputs say input box input field and input let's give it a width of 100% height 100% gonna make that background transparent border 2 pixels solid and we're gonna give this white-ish color a little transparent outline none font size 18 font weight 400 and color white border radius 6 pixels and let's give it a padding 15 15 15 40 yeah it looks nice but we need to put some space between those so let's lower this down maybe 45 oh that's a lot say 48 and yeah, that's okay and what else and let's change those placeholders to white as well input box input field and input placeholder just make that white yeah it looks better i just realized we forgot to put the icons in so let's quickly put those icons in so we're gonna say user let's copy that and paste it in here let's put the same thing in here also and for the mail Let's select that, copy and paste it, phone, let's copy this one, and for the password, let's copy a lock, let's copy and paste it, same thing in here also, and yeah, there you go, let's place them into the right place. And we can also close the box icons now. And let's style those icons. Say input, input field, position, absolute, left, 15 pixels, top, 50 pixels, top, 50%. Transform is going to be translate UI minus 50%. And font size, 20 pixels. It looks very nice let's keep going and what else yeah I think we are pretty much done with this section now the label is going to be display inline block font size 14 pixels margin 10 0 and 23 and the input is going to be white and margin right 5 pixel. Yeah, this is done also. And my favorite part, the button. Let's style that button with 100%, height 45, background white border none outline none and border radius six pixels i'm gonna copy paste my box shadow real quick cursor pointer let's make the font size 16 pixels give it a color gray ish font weight 600 and we're gonna add a transparent border 
and transition of not transform transition point three seconds because we're gonna add a hover effect let's also add that hover effect as well button hover color white background transparent and border two pixel solid white now that's a good looking button but I think we forgot to add a border radius as well let's say 15 pixels there you go what else let's see let's also add a hover effect those boxes as well say dot wrapper input hover let's make that border like not white but this color like pinkish color and that's much better and finally let's make it responsive by saying max with 576 pixels when we hit that breakpoint input box input field is going to be with 100% and margin 10 pixels 0 let me see if that works yep there you go it works and that is how you do a responsive registration form thank you guys for watching and see you next time